Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to work short rows in a garment. Um, I have an example right here, kind of. So the, I don't know if you can really tell how these stitches, let's just look at those block between my fingers how these stitches here are going horizontally. And then the, if you see this color change that's at the top, we're looking at this half inch about how the stitches are going kind of diagonally instead. So you have diagonal stitches and then you have stitches that are going horizontal, right? So these are done with a technique called short row. And um, it's kind of cool. Um, it kind of takes your mind off of the fact that you're knitting a large piece um, because you're doing a small section at a time. And so today I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, this is just a little sample of a shawl that I was working in this color, but I think I'm going to change it to a different color. Well, I am changing it to a different color. <laughs> so... <clears throat> let's get started. So here's um, the same shawl, right? But we're adding on the short row color here. And as you can see, this kind of shows up a little bit better. Um, so here's the solid work, but then here is the striped. And I decided to change it to this uh, yarn that has um, micro striping, because I felt like the thickness of these rows are thin enough to where the micro striping looks nice. So to get started with this particular pattern, this is from the Josh Reich's um, Typhoon Shawl. Um, you're gonna start with a short row where it's a short row on nine stitches, 12 stitches total. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. First thing you're going to do is slip the first stitch with the yarn in the front, go into the next stitch as if to knit. Yarn over, pull that up, yarn over, and knit it off and you have a yarn over stitch plus one new stitch two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's a yarn over stitch. You're gonna knit that all together. 10, and then two stitches, 11. 12, and then you're going to turn the work here and work back 10 stitches. So start with a slip one yarn over. So slip one from the left needle to the right, go into the next stitch as if to knit, pull that up. You're going to see this little V looking thing, wrap the stitch and knit off. So there's your wrap stitch and then there's the next stitch. That's stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know that's my tenth stitch because there should be one more stitch, and then the next stitch after that is a um, yarn over stitch, and then it kind of alternates. A regular stitch, yarn over, regular stitch, so it goes into that pattern. So I'm gonna stop right before that, and that's my 10th stitch. So really, this section just keeps going over, and you're only working these few stitches. It alternates between, you know, like 13 and 10 or so. 
and then you just turn it back around and start over. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's my yarn over stitch. Knit that together and then knit two. One, two. In my head, I'm thinking 12. Like I think, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once I get to that, uh, that yarn over stitch, I think 10, 11, 12, turn. That's my slip one, yarn over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, how do I know that's number ten? Because there should be one stitch and then a yarn over stitch right next to that. And there you go. And then after all that, it should start looking The only kind of downside to doing short rows is that because you're doing short rows, you're not working all the way to the end of the row. So you don't ever have like a loose end um, needle. So you just need to make sure that if you decide to take a break that you pull your needles through. Um, anyway, anyway, should start looking like that. So again, here are the horizontal stitches of the red section and then the diagonal stitches from the short row on the micro striping section. I hope that was helpful.